What's going on guys, Aldrin Astacio here with FlightPath.com. Now in this video, I'm gonna be doing a test with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Spotlight. Now if you guys haven't seen my previous video, I actually did a video on the speaker of the Mavic 2 Enterprise. So if you guys haven't seen that, make sure you guys check that above. But in this video, let's do a little test with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Spotlight. Right now I'm gonna test out the Spotlight. So if you guys are interested in drones, tips, tutorials, as well as product reviews, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos. But I wanna you know, do the Spotlight test in something that's a little bit more, I would say, you know, a real world scenario. Right now I'm next to a bike and a walking path that goes all the way around the backside of this canyon here. And I also have a lot of brush, uh, rocks, uh, you know, some trees, and I have some hillsides here. So when I think about using a spotlight, you're thinking about maybe, you know, looking for somebody, maybe looking for something. So what I did in this video, just to kind of test it out to, you know, give us, give it more of context of what I'm trying to do out here, instead of just, you know, turning the light on and flying it to, 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 to something, I actually want to make it so it feels like I'm looking for something and actually doing something as you would in more of a real world scenario type of situation. So what I did is I actually threw a big duffel bag way out there and what I want to do now is wait for the sun to go down. Once it goes down, of course, I'm going to you know, start up the Mavic 2 Enterprise, put the spotlight on, and then just start scanning the area and just to see at different heights, you know, how bright is the spotlight, um, how much am I able to see uh, through the camera itself, and just kind of survey the area and just kind of make it feel like as though I'm looking for either a person or in this case, I'm looking for a bag. So, you know, I like to think of it as like when the cops kind of go out and there's a suspicious bag out, let's send the drone up to at least get a closer look at the bag to see what it is, see if there's anything attached to it. And uh, that's kind of the storyline I wanted to go with for this test. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna wait for the sun to go down, start setting up the Mavic 2 Enterprise. And then once the sun goes down, we will fly it over there and see what we can see through the camera using the spotlight. I put the spotlight on it right now. So as you can see through the app, we have the spotlight right here. And by hitting the switch on the remote, all you have to do is press this button right there. And there you go. Now to control how strong it is, what you need to do is go into the app itself and you're able to adjust the brightness right here. So you can adjust the brightness from 50%. It actually stays at 50% until you get it up in the air. So as you can read right here, it says to ease eye strain, max brightness is reduced to 50% when the aircraft is not flying. So this is just at 50% right here. And then once you get it up in the air, then it, you're able to switch this over to 100%. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna turn on my auxiliary lights on the bottom as well. So that way it gives me a little bit more. So I'll turn these on, which is here. So I have front lights that are also pointed at an angle. As you can see, there's a little bit of an angle to it. And then we have the bottom lights. We'll turn those on as well. I'm actually just using this, which is the Ameren uh, Aperture Light. It's on a stand right here, just to give me some light. All right, so it's actually pretty dark right now. Right now, this camera's cranked up to ISO 1600, so you're seeing a little bit more than what's really out here. And of course, I have this light right here that's kind of giving me some fill light so that I can actually shoot the video. Let's test this out, see how it does. One, find the bag. Two, go in a little bit closer to it. Then we can also zoom in a little bit more, crank it up to 100% on the light, and um, you know, just kind of give it a more of a, I would say somewhat of a real world scenario of what would be happening out here uh, in the dark using the spotlight on the Mavic 2 Enterprise. It's at 50%, what I'm gonna do is, let me see what it looks like at 100%. There you go, so now it's at 100%. All right, so let's go look for it. Ten meters, so I'm at thirty, I'm at thirty feet right now, approximately thirty feet. I know I put the bag in that area over there, so I'm going to see if I can actually get to it, just by using the camera and just kind of the idea of around the area. Eight, uh, eight meters up, 
And just to give you some idea as far as how bright it is, uh, I'm gonna, this is at 100%. Let me switch this down to 50. There's 50 right there. And let's go back to 100. There's 100. So as I'm going through this, I know it's in this area. I'm gonna just you know, kind of fly around a little bit more, see what's in here, what, what I'm able to find and see. And as you can see by my numbers, I'm about 65 meters away. So what I'm gonna do is start looking for that bag. And of course, I'm just doing this as close proximity, you know, in a real world scenario, you're probably gonna go a lot further. You're gonna have to cover a lot more ground. This is definitely just an idea of trying to do some sort of search for an item. So uh, right now I'm just going out there I'm about 70, you know, 300, almost 300 feet away. And I'm just looking for that area. Let's go over here, see what's over here. Here's a rock right here. And what's this? Here it is right here. So there is the bag. Okay, so right now I'm at 13 meters up. Okay, so I spotted the bag. What I wanna do now is, since I have the Mavic 2 zoom, I can stay a little bit higher. I'm at 12 meters right now. I can, let me just punch in to see a little bit closer. Look at that. That is really, really clear. That is cool, look at that. So I'm at 12 meters up, and once I spotted the item, after doing a little bit of circling, now I'm able to use the zoom, punch into it. It gives me a lot, you know, a lot safer of a distance if I had to, you know, find out what it is. I didn't want to fly right up to it. Now I can see that it is a bag, and ideally what I want to do is zoom out, and I could probably go a little bit lower to that right here. Now I'm at 10 meters up. I can still see my drone behind me and I can go in a little bit closer and get you know a better angle of it and see if I can see anything coming out of the bag or anything like that. So it might look like I'm a lot closer than I really am because of the zoom. So I am six meters up. I'm gonna zoom back out so it gives you a little bit more of a perspective on how far I really am from it. So this is zoomed all the way out. My light is at 100% and I'm gonna go take this up in the air and up and up and away a little bit. So there it is. That's what it looks like at 20 meters. Let's take this up. Now that we know it's in frame, I'll take this up a little bit more. So there it is. That's what it looks like at 30 meters. And now at 30 meters, let's punch in and see what we can see. So that light is at 30 meters up, shining down on the ground right now. So there it is, just using the Mavic 2 Enterprise with this spotlight, able to spot a subject, you know, 30 meters up in the air, find out what it is, zoom in on it, and then bring your drone down a little bit closer to get a little bit better view to see exactly what it is. Spotlight for the DJI 2 Enterprise. So there it is guys, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Spotlight. I hope you guys got value from this video and if you did, of course, don't forget to smash that like button and also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. This is Ultra Stasio with FlightPath.com. See you guys in the next one. Take care.